Good day, students. Welcome to math.serve.com. And this is number three of our proof, indirect proof. We're going to be carrying out a proof on using the method of contradiction and contraposition. Don't forget to visit our website at math.serve.com for a wide variety of math tutorials ranging all the way from algebra to calculus. All right, so let's write down um, problem number three. So for problem three, um, where to <clears throat> number three prove that prove that um, if n to the third plus five is odd then um, n is even all right prove this by uh, contra let's do contradiction first okay prove this by contradiction and contraposition all right I just want to show you um, how to do proofs by using both methods all right this is an overkill in most cases just using one method will suffice all right so let's start with the first method uh, contradiction so how do you carry out a proof by contradiction? That's the question. So to carry out a proof by contradiction, all you just have to do is you just have to show, if you have an implied statement as indicated here, you just have to show that the hypothesis implying the negation of the conclusion results in a contradiction results in a contradiction. Okay, so if it results in a contradiction, then that means that um, P implies Q is true. So that's the whole idea behind proof by contradiction. All right, so in this problem, um, the hypothesis is P. So P is um, N to the third plus five is odd. All right, and then Q is our conclusion, which is N is even. All right, so what we want to do is we want to show that P implies not Q results in a contradiction. So if Q is um, N is even, that implies that not Q, what is not Q going to be? Not Q is N is not even. All right, N is not even. And that's the same thing as saying um, n is odd, all right? Um, if a number is not even, then it's odd. So the same thing. So not q is going to be n is odd, all right? So what we want to do in this proof is want to show that um, p implies not q results in a contradiction, or if n to the third plus 5 is odd, then um, n is odd results in a contradiction, in a contradiction, okay? So if we can show this, then we're done. Contradiction. All right, so let's start um, with the left side of our statement. Um, since n to the third, plus five is odd. What does that mean? What does it mean for a number to be odd? Since it's odd, let's write it in an equation form. That means that n to the third plus five is equal to two k plus one for some integer integer k. And this is by definition, okay, by definition of um, of odd. All right, um, so we have this situation here. Now let's try and isolate, let's see what N is, okay? Using this equation. So we're just gonna subtract five from both sides and take um, and then see what we can determine from there. So if we subtract five from both sides, we have N to the third plus five, I'm sorry, N to the third if you subtract 5 from both sides, um, that's going to be equal to 
um, 2k plus 1 minus 5 and to the third is going to be equal to 2k minus 4 hmm, let's see on the right side what can we do on the right side notice we can factor out 2 equals 2 times k minus 2 and um, k minus 2 is an integer is an integer because we know that um, integers are closed under under addition and subtraction okay so k minus 2 is an integer by closure um, so let k um, let's let's k minus 2 equals let's give it letter m equals m for some integer m all right so what do we have now we have n to the third is equal to 2m all right now let's let's go ahead and decompose this exponential expression right here n times n times n equals 2m now since 2 divides the right side of this equation what do you think about the left side since they're equal 2 has to divide the left side of the equation also okay it has to divide at least one of these factors all right so since 2 divides m then 2 divides n the first number the first factor or 2 divides the second factor or 2 divides the third factor all right because 2 divides the expression on the right so which of these does 2 divide well they're all the same right so since n is equal to n is equal to n that implies that 2 must divide n since they're all identical all right so if 2 divides n then n is even by definition okay because um, 2 divides every even number all right so but what was the conclusion of the statement that we started with earlier we said that if n to the third is odd then n is odd but we started with n to the third plus 5 being odd and what did we end up with we ended up with n being even all right so this is a contradiction contradiction um, to the conclusion that n is odd all right so this basically completes the proof that um if n to the third is odd then n is even all right so therefore if n to the third plus five is odd then q is true okay and n is even so that completes our proof by um, contradiction. Now what we're going to do is we're going to carry out the same proof um, by contraposition. All right, so let's title it B, contraposition. Contraposition. So what is, it, what is involved in showing that a statement is true or improving a statement using the method of contraposition? This idea just lies in the whole idea that um, P, let me change the color here since this is not the proof. Um, this just um, is based on the fact that um, P implies Q and it's contrapositive, not Q implies not P are logically equivalent. Okay? They're logically equivalent. So if you want to show that P implies Q, it's sufficient to show that not Q implies not P. I established this um, fact in, um, in the indirect proof series number two. So if you want to see how, uh, how to show this using truth tables, you can uh, take a look at that tutorial for um, directions on how to do so. 
All right, so this is what we're going to, this is the idea we're going to use to um, prove that the statement is true, okay? All right, so let's go back to our uh, hypothesis and conclusion again. So P is that um, n to the third plus five is odd. And then Q um, is that n is even, all right? Well, we want to show not Q implies not P. So let's find out what the negation of these two statements are. So not P is that n to the third plus five is not odd, which means that it must be even. n to the third plus five is even. And not Q, basically the negation of this statement. If n is not even, then n, n is odd. All right. So what are we going to do here? So what we're going to do is we want to show that um, not Q implies not P is true. Or we want to show that um, if in word form, if um, N is odd, if N is odd, then uh, N to the third plus five is even. So that's our goal, all right? Okay, so let's start with the hypothesis. Not Q, which is N is odd. Since N is odd, what equation can we formulate using the definition of odd? If N is odd, then N is equal to 2K plus one or some integer K, all right? For some integer K. All right, so let's find out what n to the third plus five is if n is equal to two k plus one. So um, n to the third plus five is equal to two k plus one raised to the third power plus five. So we just have to expand this, all right? <clears throat> so we're gonna work out two k plus one times two k plus one times 2k plus 1 plus 5. All right, I'm, I'm going to use a shortcut to multiply the first two quantities, which are identical. Um, so if you, if you square in a binomial, you have a square, which is 4k square, plus 2ab, which is 4k, plus b square, which is 1. All right, that times 2k plus 1 plus 5. All right, so let's go ahead and multiply um, this out. <clears throat> I'm going to multiply the one first, so I'm going to distribute one to everything. If you multiply everything by one, you're going to have 4k squared plus 4k plus one. And then if you go ahead and distribute um, 2k to everything, <clears throat> 2k times one is 2k. Notice how I'm lining it up. And then 2k times 4k is um, 8k squared. And then 2k times um, 4k squared is what? It's 8k to the third power. And then don't forget the plus 5, all right? So just put the plus 5 right here. I just organized it in this fashion so I can add it um, vertically without making mistakes. So let's go ahead and find out what um, 2k plus 1 to the third plus 5 is. <clears throat> so we have n to the third plus 5 equals 8k to the third plus 12k squared plus 6k plus 6. Now what do you notice about these three, these four terms, or these four terms here? They're all even, right? You can factor out two from them. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have n to the third plus five equals two times 4k to the third plus 6k squared plus 3k plus three, okay? So uh, we know for a certainty that 4k to the third plus 6k squared plus 3k plus three is an integer closure because when you multiply um, and add integers, you get integers, all right? So we have that situation Let um, that expression, 4k to the third plus 6k squared plus 3k plus 3 be equal to, uh, let's call it 
uh, m for some integer m. So now what do we have? We have a situation where n to the third, n to the third plus five is equal to two m. What does this mean? This means that n to the third plus five is even by definition. All right, so since um, not Q implies not P is true, it follows that what? Follows that the contrapositive of this P implies Q is true. So therefore our what we are asked to show or prove is in fact true. So let's go ahead and write that down. Therefore, if n to the third plus five is odd, then n is even. Okay, so that completes our proof by our contraposition. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. Um, do feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. And uh, post a comment to let us know what you think about this tutorial. More clips can be found on math.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.